So the question is, what practices do I recommend students who are committed to either unconditional love or enlightenment? Well, the um, what I well, there are two distinct paths. Un uh, to commit to unconditional love, which is forgiveness uh and non-judgmentalism uh, no matter what in every circumstance uh, uh brings a, is the pathway of salvation so the pathway of salvation of the soul so on death of the body the the soul goes to a heavenly realm now the pathway of enlightenment is transcending all duality and separation to reach the infinite nature the enlightenment um uh, the Course in Miracles calls it the holy instant. So uh, that's a more uh, a difficult pr uh, process, but also another way. Uh, you you can get to unconditional love on the way to enlightenment. So you can choose unconditional love to begin with and then decide later on to pursue enlightenment. Um, so what, what I recommend, well, to a beginning student, this is what I recommend. Uh, I recommend exactly more or less what Hawkins recommends. So uh, I would find, uh, this is what I recommend to all spiritual students. So, so it's a, uh, I'm glad I was asked this question. What are the basics of undoing your dense ego if you're a new spiritual student? Well, you, I would uh, suggest you join a 12-step group and get a sponsor and go through the steps. Um, now, here's the thing, and I know a lot of people will find what I'm saying difficult uh, because they'll say, well, I haven't got any addiction. I'm not, I don't have problems with alcohol. I don't have problems with food. I don't have problems with relationships. I don't have problems with sex. I don't have problems with money. Well, it, uh, that's just trying to find an excuse not to join a 12-step group. Or you say like, well, my problems aren't that bad. Uh, so I, these other people in the group are really, really bad. I haven't really got much of a problem, so I don't belong. Well, that's, I'd say, if you, if you, um, uh, anyway, my guidance is find a group, whichever one you think you can fit in with and, and get a sponsor and do the steps and participate in the group. Um, there's much more I can speak about how to find the right person to be your guide, but uh, find a good sponsor in a group, in a 12-step group who's very spiritually aligned rather than ego aligned. And so that what that do doing the inventory of the 12 step program and then helping others and making amends is the basics it's like your intro you know you go from being a, an infant to now being a, a a proper child that's well balanced you get rid of the heavy you know your heavy uh traumas and emotions and grievances and negativities and self-centeredness in a 12-step program so you know as you're working whether you go to the food program the money program the relationship program um, the relatives program uh, whichever one as you go through the steps that will clear the the deepest rubbish out of you um, now what's the once you've cleared out the deepest rubbish out of you and you're you've gone through the program and you're sponsoring and you're you've done the basic work of inventory that will lighten the load of all your dark, darker darkness with the aid of a sponsor and the, the group energy. The 12 steps uh, groups are at unconditional love. So they provide great power, even though you probably go to these groups and Regal said that you don't fit in, you don't belong, you don't like the people. Uh, they, they are, I mean, they, they're saving millions of lives regularly, so they have great power in them. They do that, number one. Number two, uh, you can start that also at the same time as do the Course in Miracles lessons at the same time. So that's le leveled at the level of enlightenment. So you just do one lesson a day uh, and then go into the next lesson the next day. Uh, you'll read things and it'll give you instructions and you won't even understand why it's telling you to do it and what it's saying, it doesn't matter. If it says to you, just say throughout the day, all my thoughts are meaningless and do that every hour, I just do it. You don't have to understand it. Do uh, If it says to you, um, just say every hour, God is in love and which I forgive you, then just do it. You, know, you might not understand it, you might not agree with it, but just do it. And do, do a lesson a day. And when you come to the end of the year, start again on lesson one. So that's number two. The third thing I would do is um, uh, start becoming a student of David Hawkins, all his works. You can also watch all my videos on YouTube. 
uh, and, and join my spiritual groups. I have Zoom groups, which you can join. Just email me at sabiamuslim at gmail.com to find out my next Zoom group you can attend. But, um, okay, so Dr. Hawkins' teachings, he goes from, and he does recommend in his stuff, 12 Steps and A Course in Miracles. And then his stuff is the most advanced levels. So um, you can get on his stuff on Audible, and you can um, also go to Veritas Pub, his website, um, and for $20 a month, you can watch all his videos as, as much as you want for all his lectures on video. Um, uh, so you can do that. There's some free clips on YouTube as well to watch. But uh, okay, so first, first books to read are um, Transcending the Levels of Consciousness, Power versus Force and Letting Go. Read those as primers and get a good, after you've read those books and you're feeling quite spiritually well, uh, you can move on to, um, uh, you can move on to, um, well, the last book you'll move on. Oh, yes. Uh, when you get to advanced, you can do Discovery of the Presence of God and I, Reality and Subjectivity. Uh, those are the books to be reading. Keep watching his videos. Uh, and uh, you can do all three at the same time. And he goes through, he talks at all the different levels, from the basic levels, the intermediate levels, and to the levels of uh, transcending and enlightenment. So um, now, those are the materials, but what should be your, well, commit to one of them. I suggest if you're going to be a spiritual student, either commit to unconditional love. It's okay to start with that. If you're not sure, just commit to unconditional love first. And then later on, you can commit to enlightenment or you can commit to enlightenment if you feel inspired. Uh, now, then becomes uh, the ferocity with which you're willing to make that the most important thing in your life. Uh, so uh, I would encourage you, if you want to make great spiritual progress this lifetime, is to make it your number one priority, unconditional love or enlightenment. Now, as soon as you, if you do make that your commitment, your ego will tell you everything every reason why you should not be doing your spiritual work every day you know i've got i've got family to look after i've got bills to pay i've got uh, i've got to do the washing up well i mean you know you can do your spiritual work while you're doing all of that stuff but you also have to be honest there's some of that stuff which you should stop doing uh, become aware of levels of consciousness are you doing a low vibration job are you associating with low vibration people do you, do you need to carry that on um the are you watching a lot of junk tv when you could be listening to hawkins or listening to alleluia by robert gas so uh you want to get honest and you, uh, once i got once i saw hawkins i saw like you know he says straight and narrow is the path so it's like don't waste time if you've got if you've got a, a book by an enlightened master I mean, why am i reading a book on uh on, on someone who's teaching me who's not that advanced why am i going to places where i'm going to be programmed with the wrong stuff so you become much more fussy with how you use what what time remains um so myself as a spiritual teacher that's what i recommend to students uh is uh, 12 steps get the basics you could try just A Course in Miracles and Hawkins on its own, but then you won't have group support. You won't have gone through inventory. You won't have had a sponsor in a group, uh, that, which gives a lot of energy and support to your initial spiritual work. 